I watch and review one Detective Conan movie a week until the release of the brand new film in April 2024. I'll tell you what the movie is about, the good, the bad, and anything else interesting of note. And at the end of each video, I rank the movies watched in the tier list to see exactly which films are the best in the series. And today we board a battleship with movie 17, Detective Conan Private Eye in the Distant Sea. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> Private Eye in the Distant Sea premiered in Japanese theaters on April 20th, 2013, and is now led by full-fledged director Kobun Shizuno, with Yasuichiro Yamamoto serving as supervisor, with a screenplay written by Takeharu Sakurai. The movie follows Conan witnessing weird events unfold aboard a highly advanced battleship called the Aegis Destroyer. Along with a murder and a mysterious unidentified enemy presence, everybody on the boat doesn't seem to be who they say they are. Conan must now figure out what's going on and solve the case before the situation escalates to a national crisis. This might be the worst movie of the entire franchise. This movie is the most imbalanced, bland, exposition diarrhea I've had to sit through for a review. One of its biggest issues is that there are too many characters in this movie. More specifically, there are too many characters that essentially serve very little purpose to justify them being there. There are a total of 39 f characters in this movie. And how many of these characters are involved and vital to the plot? 21! 21 characters! What are you, the Avengers or something? There's absolutely no need for 21 characters to solve the case. Just to show you how efficient a better show could be, in one of the best episodes of BBC Sherlock, The Hound of the Baskervilles, how many characters did we have to tell a perfectly good mystery? Three! Just three! Sherlock, Watson, Henry, and if you want to add a few more, maybe Lestrade and the Major. I mean this in the most respectful way, but Takeharu Sakurai, he wrote an absolute horseshit script. He wrote a mystery so wide-spanning that required so much external evidence that Conan couldn't get, that the movie had no choice but to get multiple characters involved. But with nearly half of these characters being new characters and still having our OGs be part of the plot, there was simply no time to give them any arcs at all. And the few that do get arcs are half-assed simply because there's no time. And did I call these people characters? No, these are not characters. These are paragraphs of exposition drawn to look like characters. Can you honestly tell me what any of these new characters are about? What are their character traits? Their personalities? No, you can't because they made the same exact mistake movie 13 did and made it their sole purpose to spot exposition. Also, why are the detective boys Sonoko, Kazuha, and the Tokyo police here? The detective boys and Sonoko literally serve no purpose in this movie but just to be crybabies at the end. Like these people are trying their best to do their job and find Ran but then they're just here going Oh my god, shut up! The Tokyo police. Did they have to come here? The military police literally exist to handle affairs within the armed forces. What jurisdiction do Megure and Ko have? I'll tell you why, because they weren't confident enough in making the military police actually interesting, so we had to bring these three in despite them not needing to be here. And Kazuha, oh my god, talk about character assassination. You know, last I checked, she was supposed to be feisty, intelligent, a strong female character. So why is it she's a fucking crybaby? Dumb as brave and just gets babysitted and pushed around by Heiji in this movie. It just makes her look like she's dead weight that can contribute nothing to the story. Also, Where's all the action scenes? You know, even in the bad Conan films, we at least got some action to pacify our boredom. Yes, I'm asking for a bare minimum of entertainment here. And this movie gives nothing! That one soccer ball scene, by the way, is not a scene, it was a moment. It lasted about 10 seconds and that's it. So, in a movie that's absolutely teary-eyed boring, it doesn't even give me that shot of adrenaline to keep me awake throughout the whole thing. Oh, also, everyone here are idiots. I'm not talking about the characters, by the way, I'm talking about you. That's 
right, you, the person watching, you're an idiot because that's what the filmmakers think of you. They don't think of you as smart audience members. They think of you as doughy-eyed toddlers who just accepts that whatever they write, you'll be happy enough to see cause oh, 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 Detective Conan. Why else would they let Heiji and Kazuha just walk through airport security? Why else would this guy committing a national crime walk out in the open like a moron? Why else would Conan, after being questioned just once, decide to give up his identity to this woman he doesn't know? What happened to keeping your identity secret to protect the ones you love? Why are they exposing Haibara in front of Kazuha? Are you telling me Kazuha will just not care that Haibara, a literal grade schooler, is deciphering data that even a scientist or her genius detective boyfriend can't? I mean, come on! And the last straw, the final nail in the coffin, in the final sequence with Ron going missing in the ocean. Despite all the annoying shit, it actually manages to pull some iota of emotion from the characters. And instead of doing it, you know, right or sensibly, what do they do? They call upon the mother of all coincidences and they found her surrounded by a bunch of Mori's golden name cards. You're telling me, in this entire area of ocean, this massive stretch of space, this gargantuan surface area. Ron just happens to float to the exact pixel perfect space that the name cards dropped at. Are, are you- Are you out of your mind? This movie is a colossal failure on every front. Don't even waste your time on this movie. I'm telling you now, don't bother. This is going straight into the F tier and is the worst movie for me anyway in the entire franchise. See y'all next week for movie 18, Detective Conan Dimensional Sniper. I need to sit down. Bye everybody.